This historic location has been owned by two colonels, one Union and one Confederate. The inn has stayed in the family name for five generations, making it Kentucky's oldest family-operated country inn. For more than six decades, a women's college stood here, which educated well over 1,000 women of the area. It has stood as a destination for many prominent people to visit and a proud symbol of the community. Today, it continues to be a gathering place for people and friends from all over. The Beaumont Inn in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and recently we visited the historic Beaumont Inn, and we wanted to share its story with you. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. At Family Tree Nuts, we make history videos all over the United States and a few countries. The first house on the area was a log cabin that was the boyhood home of John Marshall Harlan. Harlan served as Kentucky Attorney General and eventually served as a United States Supreme Court Justice. He was known as the Great Dissenter due to his many dissents and cases that restricted civil liberties. Before his public legal service, he served as a Union Army Colonel in the 10th Kentucky Infantry. Five years before his death, Harlan donated a King James Bible, which later became known as the Harlan Bible, and starting in 2015 has been signed by every seceding Supreme Court Justice after taking office. The property was purchased by Dr. Samuel G. Mullins in May of 1851. The cabin burned down and this three-story house was soon built and completed in 1855 at a cost of $10,000. The house could accommodate 100 students and in 1856 Mullins founded the Greenville Female Institute, named for the medicinal springs that are located a few hundred yards from the school. Later in 1856, Mullins sold the school to John Augustus Williams, who had previously founded the Christian College in Columbia, Missouri. Williams was also the first president of the University of Kentucky when it was located in Harrisburg. How many of you knew that? Williams soon changed the name of the school to Daughters College because he had lost three daughters at a young age. He later became a father figure to the students and he said, all these girls will be my daughters. And he helped them in their education as if they were his own. The school thrived during the Civil War because many people sent their daughters here to escape the war. During the Battle of Perryville, 15 miles away, cannon fire could be heard at the school. Several of the windows still have the original glass, and some of the glass has students' names and dates of things like engagements carved with their diamond rings. In 1895, Williams sold the school to Colonel Thomas Smith who served in the Civil War under Stonewall Jackson and was with him when Jackson was killed at the Battle of Chancellorsville. Williams requested that Smith change the name of the school once the sale was official. Colonel Smith's wife said since the school sat on one of the highest points in town, it should be called Beaumont, meaning Beautiful Hill. Colonel Smith spoke seven languages and taught all seven at the college. After Colonel Smith died in 1914, Beaumont College began to have financial issues. Due to the increasing numbers of public schools, fewer people sent their daughters to schools like Beaumont. The school sadly closed in 1917. The following year, in 1918, Glaive and Annie Bell Goddard purchased the building for $7,800. Annie Bell had graduated from the school in 1880 and had taught mathematics here, and it eventually became the dean. The alumni made many visits to the building, and soon it was turned into an inn. And like I said earlier, the Beaumont Inn has stayed in the family name for five generations, making it Kentucky's oldest family-operated country inn. 
The inn has a museum of Kentucky history and has lavish Victorian and pre-Civil War furnishings. You can spend hours reading and viewing all the history displayed on the walls. Besides being an inn, the building has a restaurant and the Old Owl Tavern, which is in the Old Carriage House. The tavern gets its name from a local brand of whiskey distilled here in Mercer County. The inn is well known for its southern hospitality. Places like this need to be remembered, and they are a source of pride to their local community. What other places like this would you like us to feature a video on? Leave us a comment below with your thoughts and recommendations. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.